so now the only thing remains is nginx configuration so let's again go to terminal and i am on the server and inside this html folder where i have installed this laravel app so let's go to the base user folder and then we have to configure the nginx so now let's go and see how we will configure that so let's just go to etc folder then nginx folder and list out the contents we have various contents but the important one is sites available so let's now go to sites available and we have to open this with vim so sudo vim sites available and password okay so only site is default so let's now quit from here and now this means we have to go inside default okay so this means now we are on the configuration of nginx so first thing first you can see it says root is var ww but we want inside http there should be a folder called public and where i am typing okay to write here we have to first go to insert mode by pressing i and then say public and that's good then what we need we need the nginx to run index.php file not this one so index.php file and then we don't want any 404 if i go ip address slash something else so let's now see if i go to any of the url it will say not found but we want to search for that page also so i have to say here firstly slash index.php and then i have to find is there any argument so is underscore args if there is argument then give that argument so that's good so remember there is no slash there is no dash dollar is underscore args dollar args then we have to uncomment this one okay so firstly this one let's uncomment location php and then here the fast cgi pass unix this is actually the path of php fpm which convert the request but we are using 7.2 php so 7.2 hyphen fpm dot socket and let's remove this one also so everything is good let's now close this so escape colon wq and this is good but if i now go to cd inside var www yeah we have html folder but inside html folder we don't have the project our project is inside our root html folder so cd html and yeah we have this so you can see it's on root not on var ww html so let's now do one thing let's go to this and i will say move this html to var slash www slash html but we have to move this into html so we don't have to provide html here okay so let's hit enter and that should be var okay and now it says directory not empty the directory we have on var www and this html we have seen that that's not empty so why not delete that so remove r f html and it says permission denied okay run as a sudo and yes so if i now list no html this means go to base and then sudo move html to var ww yeah we have done that and now cd var ww and list out the contents this means we have the html and this means if i now go inside html and list out contents yeah we have this so let's go here 
and refresh and it says again 403 forbidden forbidden not 404 nothing else forbidden that is because we have changes the nginx but we have not restarted the nginx so sudo service nginx restart so there is a way to check nginx is working properly or not so i will say nginx hyphen t and you can see it says some error we have on our nginx could not open file log error dot log okay so let's try this with sudo nginx hyphen t okay so test is successful this means we have some problem on nginx configuration so sudo etc nginx sites hyphen available slash default default and all these things opening with vim so vim okay so the important thing we have missed out we have to uncomment this one also include snippets fast cgi php.conf this means if i now save and quit and sudo service nginx restart restart okay so let's now go to safari and reload and this is good uh, at least we are getting some level related thing and we know about this so there is an important thing which is related to permissions i know so you can see it says permission denied so you know that it's because of the permission so here we just have to say sudo chmod and then hyphen capital r 777 for storage so we are providing storage read write execute uh, permissions so let's hit enter no storage file because we have to go inside cd var www html and now run that command okay that's good go refresh and you can see laravel is here so congratulations everything is set up here so what important thing you have to do if you ever make changes on your github what you have to do you just have to say git pull okay so git pull will get the changes and do everything so it says already up to date if you change something it will do the change here and everything works fine so this is all about Laravel configuration, Laravel uploading, deploying Laravel on DigitalOcean server, configuration of server. If you need some advanced stuff, just message me. I will surely work upon that. If that will be shareable, I will surely share that with all of you. So if you have learned something from Bitfumes and if you want to donate, then go and become the patreon and you can even donate one dollar a month will be a great help for me because these little help will encourage me uh, because i also have to pay some bills and it takes lots of hard work to create these uh, videos for you never mind if you can do that no problem don't forget to like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram Bye bye